Kiara, Auto Katoa. Easter time greetings to you. Welcome as we celebrate this third Sunday of Easter here in the parish of the Good Shepherd in Auckland. A special welcome to those who are viewing this Mass online or on Shine TV. Our celebrant today is our parish priest, Monsignor Bernard Kyle, and we are led in the music by Laura and Dominic Shrivers. Let us stand as we sing our opening hymn, O Sons and Daughters. Together with the sign of our salvation, Kitengua o te matua te tamaiti o te waru e tapu. Peace be with you. We continue our journey through Easter tide, celebrating this mass for the third Sunday. We hear the great reconciliation of Peter to uh, to Jesus, and as we hear his response. Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Let that response be ours as we continue our Easter journey. For the times perhaps we've missed the mark, we acknowledge our need of God's grace, peace and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Christ, have mercy. You are mighty God, you are Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And we praise God as we pray, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. 
you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And as we pray, let us be mindful of the intentions we bring to Mass today. We pray for ourselves and the needs of our world. Father in heaven, author of all truth, a people once in darkness has listened to your word and followed your son as he rose from the tomb. Hear the prayer of this newborn people and strengthen your church to answer your call. May we rise and come forth into the light of day and stand in your presence until eternity dawns. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the high priest questioned the apostles, saying, We gave you strict orders not to teach in this name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you are determined to bring this man's blood on us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than human beings. The God of our ancestors raised up Jesus, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and saviour, that he might give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. The council ordered the apostles not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. As they left the council, they rejoiced that they were considered worthy to suffer dishonour for the sake of the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together let us pray Psalm 29. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favour all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne, and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads of myriads, and thousands of thousands singing with full voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom 
and might and honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory at that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And he revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons and two other disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. And they said to him, we also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore but the disciples did not realize that it was him. Jesus said to them, children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, no. So he said to them, cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the great number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and he jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards. They were dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal, charcoal fire with fish on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you have just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? because they realized that it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. 
Then he said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. On these first three Sundays of Easter tide, we listen to one of the resurrection accounts, encounters between disciples and the risen Lord. In today's excerpt from John, we hear the disciples somewhat bewildered, they're hearing things uh, from other people, they're not quite sure what to believe. And uh, as they're out fishing, led by Peter, Jesus appears on the shore. It is John who recognizes him, John the Beloved. And uh, as he uh, says, it is the Lord, Peter realizes he is lightly clad and jumps into the water. You can imagine why. Peter denied him, not so very long ago, three times. Today's story is not just an encounter with the disciples, with the risen Lord, but it's an important reconciliation between Peter and Jesus. If I'd denied him three times, I think I'd have jumped in the water too. Oh, hopefully he won't see me. And yet, after Jesus has a meal with them on the uh, shores of the lake, he confronts Peter in a very gentle way. And three times he says to him, he asks him the question, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? It's as if each question is to balance out the three denials of Peter. I don't know the man, I don't know the man, I don't know the man. Peter would be only too aware of his shortcomings, of his great failure in the Lord's own hour of need. And yet the Lord doesn't cause him greater shame, as it were, The Lord doesn't say to him, you know, you let me down badly. But the Lord approaches him with a loving, reconciling heart. And the interesting thing for Peter and for us is that Jesus refuses to let his failings, his shortcomings, define him. Jesus had Peter's well-being at heart, and reconciliation was key. You can imagine a very moving moment when Peter falls, as it were, into the loving embrace of Jesus, knowing that the healing had taken place and all would be well. Jesus' final command we hear in the gospel today is, follow me. This is the resurrection of the Lord encountered Uh, by Peter in this very special and unique way. It's a resurrection experience that is offered to each one of us every day of our life. And when we think about our shame or our regrets, just think about the reconciliation that occurs in today's gospel and how, again, the Lord Jesus has our well-being in heart. And John's gospel is often summed up I've come that you may have life and have it to the full. Don't we have much to be thankful for?
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us place our prayers now before the Lord, praying for ourselves and the needs of our world. Let us pray that as we celebrate the reconciliation of Peter to Jesus, we too will wholeheartedly respond, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. May our words and actions reflect our faith in the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our let us pray that our parish communities may be joyful, caring, and welcoming. May we have life and have it to the full as we celebrate the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the recently baptized and those preparing for the sacrament of confirmation. May the fruits of the Holy Spirit flourish in our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis, that he may be courageous in his leadership of the Church and continue to challenge all people to live justly May we heed his plea to be good and responsible stewards of the environment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace in our world. We pray especially for the peoples of Ukraine and Russia at this time. May the atrocities of war cease and may leaders of nations seek paths that lead to peace and unity amongst nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray this Easter tide for those who have died. May the promise of the resurrection sustain us in joyful hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. O God, we place all our prayers before you, those just spoken, but those that remain deep within us and are known to you. In your wisdom and great love, hear and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples. He said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our bishops, all our bishops, the clergy, and all who serve you. We remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O Lord, look upon your people with kindness, and by these Easter mysteries, bring us to the joy of the resurrection. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of the many people that will view this Mass on Shine TV on or online, I say thank you to the people of Good Shepherd, to our beautiful music group, The Sations, who have led us today with the music. Our thanks to you. I know a number of our parishioners have uh, recently lost loved ones. Uh, Sio Ali's uh, brother died yesterday. Jeanette Plunkett's sister, Sister Rose Marie, uh, a Brown Josephite sister, died this week too. So let's uh, be mindful of those uh, who are grieving the loss of loved ones at this time, knowing that we are people of the resurrection. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. A triumphant holy day. Eternal is His love. 